Revolution was one of the largest and most well-known revolutions that still impacts us today. It spawned many new ideas, in large part, for industrial machinery, including the steam engine, telephone, and sewing machine. This revolution started in Britain during the 1700s and eventually spread throughout the world by 1830. While people enjoyed the new jobs, which came with many advantages, they understandably disliked the poor work and living conditions. Industrialization began in a small British island which used natural resources including water power and coal to machine produce goods. These methods soon transferred through the country, provoking an expansion in the British economy. Today we can still see many of the effects of the Industrial Revolution. Inventions such as the steam engine and water frame inspired many engineers to use different sources of energy to power their creations. Inspirations led to inventions, which led to more inspirations, which led to even more inventions. Those inventions led to the increase in jobs, which promoted economic growth. In addition to all of that, we also got free public education. This idea was supported by Horace Mann, who believed that if we do not prepare children to become good citizens, if we do not enrich their minds with knowledge, then our republic must go down to destruction. As soon as industrialization began, Many nations began to develop their own identities, and their citizens began to develop national pride. Factories began to produce a number of quality goods, resulting in a decrease in prices. The Industrial Revolution also had a great impact on transportation. With the creation of the steam engine, engineers manufactured steamboats, which were the first commercially successful steam-powered ships. These ships served as a way to transport goods across the Atlantic Ocean. The steam engine also led to the creation of the steam locomotive. Engineer Richard Chevethick created the first railroad steam locomotive. This steam locomotive generated a facility for transportation for travelers, especially those who travel from and to Britain. However, the Industrial Revolution didn't do a lot to fix the lower, middle, or upper class. The upper class got richer, the lower class got poorer, and the middle class grew. This was not a positive change. For the lower working class, there was also little workers' rate. It was very difficult to start the process of unionization, and it wasn't very effective. Although some of the people did not openly protest, there were some groups, like the Luddites in 1811, that did. This group of people broke into factories and smashed equipment. They also sent threatening letters to factory owners. The Luddites mostly damaged uh, factories and equipment, but occasionally, they also hurt people. The government stopped the Luddites by 1817 by passing laws outlawing machine destruction and offering a substantial award to anyone with information. They also installed troops at various factories for protection. The increase in jobs from new machinery was amazing, even though some people rebelled. However, the work and living conditions were outrageously horrible. Technically, their quality of life improved, but many people were working for 17 hours a day, six, six days a week. This included underage children who often got no education and worked for long hours in dangerous factories. Some people decided to bring about a social change or a reform in the way that these children and families lived and were treated. Edwin Chadwick was an influential figure who changed city planning and improved the sanitation system. This helped ease outbreaks of cholera which often occurred in heavily crowded cities. One more reform was made through parliamentary. The Whigs, one of the two main political parties, introduced the Reform Bill of 1832. This bill redistributed the districts to reflect population changes and changed voting qualifications. This meant that many middle-class men could now vote. In conclusion, the Industrial Revolution was a result of the introduction of machinery and better ideas for manufacturing. It had some strong and violent reactions by the Luddites, and many people were extremely poor, with bad living and work conditions. However, there were also some reforms in the economy and society. These reforms led it to keep getting better and better, minimizing those poor decisions as time went by.